so very good morning to all the students of class plus 1b yes beta uh, we are doing chapter birth and today hopefully we are going to complete it only one page is left so very interesting chapter as per uh, you can say the theme of your uh, you can say stream so all the medical students are reading about this problems faced by medical practitioners fine already we discussed n number of themes fine so what is the theme of this chapter birth your presence of mind how you are supposed to apply fine and then uh, problems are faced by doctors and uh, medical practitioners how uh, sometimes even you know prescribed medicines are not going to help what is written in the book is not going to help but your practical knowledge and presence of mind that is all you have as a doctor with you fine and then also you have to keep your personal and professional lives aloof alag alag karke so how you uh, are going to manage your professions that is to be read in this chapter book characters dr andrew manson is the full name so he is a young pass out is a young graduate fine medical graduate i must say so he has completed his graduation in medical and then he has become a recently passed out doctor he has worked as an assistant to dr edward page but now uh, for the first time he was called by mr and mrs morgan joe morgan and susan morgan the this couple has go you can say they are married for uh, 20 years and now they are going to have first time they are going to have their baby after 20 years so this is very precious moment for them they call dr andrew for that purpose for the process of birth and andrew already had a break up with his girlfriend that is named uh, name of the girl is christine and he had a bad evening that day and he was already uh, you know dejected and depressed and uh, he was uh, facing the tough time of his life he, his thrusting the thoughts were all over the mind of this young doctor and at that time he was called by morgans fine and morgans mother is also there uh, an old lady near about 70 year old fine so she is also there and then uh, you know that i have written some points which we have read so far and you have broken up recently with christine uh mr morgan calls him to his house because they uh, you know before the appointed time the child is about to come the then doctor takes up the charge of mrs morgan's delivery so he accepts this uh, then child was still born still born means he was lifeless he was not moving so after putting in efforts uh doctor when found that the child the baby boy who was born was still born like lifeless was not moving his head lolled out on one side not movement body has turned up whitish in color that means lack of oxygen that was not at all pinkish in color so he you know handed over the baby to the midwife fine that nurse the helper and he thought of saving the life of the mother first because he thought baby is born still born and i should save the life of the mother who was whose pulse was also fainting so he injected one injection and uh, to strengthen the heart of the mother and he saved his, her life anyhow uh, that was a presence of mind of dr andrew at that time then he had you know suddenly he thought where is the baby he asked the midwife and he was so shocked to see midwife thought that the child is lifeless she had put up the baby under the bed where in the you can say all the garbage and Uh, newspapers and filth was lying and in between the child was there and then andrew knelt down on his knees and frantically he you know responded within fact few seconds he found the baby and then he started his method he put it up he gave instructions to the midwife that bring the towels and ewer means pot of uh, uh, you can say steam bath uh, uh, water and uh, cold water so he then had one Uh, the presence of mind of this doctor is shown in this chapter that how he uh, you know connected this case with some previous uh, as an assistant he has worked with dr edward page and he reminded of one of the incidents that in such cases process of resuscitation should be uh, uh, you know applied in which hot and cold water and you know putting the baby alternatively in both the ports and then rubbing his uh, small pygmy chest and then he uh, tried his level best for half an hour but but was of no use and finally after putting in uh, twice efforts thrice for the third time when he uh, uh, started pressing the heart uh, of that uh, baby uh, finally he got some convulsion and mucus came out of the nostrils one of the nostrils bubble uh, uh, came out of that nostril and that was a joyous bubble 
so that means a baby was still alive and anyhow how he saved it that was to be seen in continuous efforts of andrew saved the baby fine so we have read so far about this thing i'm going to share the screen beta so dibnoor you, uh, you will read us this page read this page for us okay it's not true uh, raise your hand dibnoor i'll unmute you Yes, Dimnu, can you read it for us? Yes, ma'am. There is connection problem, beta. If it goes in between, please stay there. Okay, it it comes automatically back also. So everybody be be there. Yes, read, beta. Okay, ma'am. And then. as by a miracle the pygmy chest which his hands enclosed gave a short convulsive heave another and another andrew turned giddy the sense of life springing beneath his fingers after all that unavailing striving was so exquisite it almost made him faint he redoubled his efforts feverishly the child was gasping now deeper and deeper a bubble of mucus came from one tiny nostril a joyful iridescent bubble the limbs were no longer boneless the head no longer lay back spinelessly the blanched skin was slowly turning pink then exquisitely came the child's cry this was the time when he has been waiting for he tried a lot of efforts were put in by dr andrew and uh, then by it was a miraculous as you can say save by the doctor when he pressed the that pygmy chest that small chest of the baby and it gave some reaction you know that uh, he was there he where means it started taking the breath fine it started uh, inhaling and exhaling ka jo process hota hai <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it started and andrew was almost fainting because already he had suffered a lot in the evening and now uh, he was you know uh, he was awake for the whole night and then uh, that pressure was there on him to save the life of the mother firstly and then the child and then uh, he was like almost like about to faint only and then child started gasping it means he had to read about the efforts once again so deeper and deeper that child started taking breaths right and then mucus came out which was stuck in where into the one of the veins fine and then that bubble came out that joyful bubble why we were joyful because that bubble was the sign that yes the child is alive so he was so finally i told you that child's cry at the time of birth is it is the only time you know i quote hai that this is the only time where a mother you know wants to listen to the cry of the child at the time of birth very beautiful quote it is आपकी मदर्स कभी नहीं चाहेंगी दैट यू नो यू विल क्राई इन लाइफ दे नेवर से दैट यू शुड क्राई एंड ऑल बट दिस इज द ओनली टाइम बिकॉज एट द टाइम ऑफ द बर्थ इफ अ बेबी क्राइज दैट इज द साइन ऑफ हिज वेलनेस और हर वेलनेस राइट इफ द चाइल्ड डज नॉट क्राई दैट इज प्रॉब्लमेटिक यू नो सो दे से वाई द चाइल्ड इज नॉट क्राइंग सो दैट इज मेडिकली देर आर रीजन बिहाइंड दिस वेन अ चाइल्ड क्राइज and uh, there are a lot of efforts also and you know they need to clear the passage of the uh, respiratory system you you have done in bio you might be knowing about this thing so that's why this is the only time when a mother feels happy on her uh, her uh, child's birth fine when she listens to the cry of the baby and this time baby didn't cry earlier because the baby was still born but after the numerous efforts put in by the doctor and then baby started crying that was the joyous cry finally then read it beta dear father in heaven the nurse sobbed hysterically it's come it's come alive 
Andrew handed her the child. He felt weak and dazed. About him, the room lay in a shuddering litter. Blankets, towels, basins, soiled instruments, the hypodermic syringe impaled by its point in the linoleum. The ear knocked over, the kettle on its side in a puddle of water. Upon the huddled bed, the mother still dreamed her way quietly through the anesthetic. The old woman still stood against the wall, but her hands were together. Her lips moved without sound. She was praying. So this is Mechanically, the theater, and uh, uh, please wait. Uh, so they are just telling us that dear father in heaven, that nurse, you know, that midwife, she, you know, threw that baby, literally, she kept that baby under the bed, thinking that it is, you know, stillborn. So October 6, like a dead body only. So she threw that baby under the bed. She was not having a single idea that, you know, there are methods uh, of resuscitation and how a child could be saved after putting in efforts and all. So she thought the doctor is mad that why he has been trying so hard to save the baby. So when she saw that baby giving convulsive heave and mucus came out and the baby started crying, she was so shocked. Then in that shock, she says, dear father in heaven, it has come alive finally. And literally the child was still born earlier. So Andrew was so tired. He handed over the child to that midwife. And he was feeling so giddy and about to faint and weak. And that lady, that 70-year-old woman, Morgan's mother, you can say, you can say the grandmother of that uh, newborn baby. She was still lying, standing along with the wall and her hands uh, joined in the prayer and continuously her lips were moving. She was praying to God. Obviously, she was uh, the eyewitness of this scene and she was also scared that what has happened, she has seen it from her with her eyes. Koi yakin nahi karega that how doctor has saved otherwise, you know. So what happened then? Now see the the litter around. They have mentioned that shuddering litter, kya kya gira ho, the blankets, towels, basins, those hypodermic syringes, you know, jo bhi unke pots hoti hai, linoleum and ewer, ye sare pots, whatever you see in your labs also. So in doctor's room, whatever the, these uh, things, instruments are found, everything, cattles in the puddle of water, nije pani gira hua hai. And on this, in this chaos, a room full of litter, mother was unconscious because of the anesthesia. She was still under the impact of that, uh, fine medicine and uh, then mother was uh, praying so then what happens is they will eat on mechanically andrew wrung out his sleeve pulled on his jacket i'll fetch my bag later nurse he went downstairs through the kitchen into the slurry his lips were dry at the slurry he took a long drink of water he reached for his hat and coat outside he found joe standing on the pavement with a tense, expectant face. All right, Joe, he said thickly. Both all right. It was quite light, nearly five o'clock. A few miners were already in the streets, the first of the night shift moving up. As Andrew walked with them, spent and slow, his footfalls echoing with the others under the morning sky, he kept thinking blindly, oblivious, to all other work he had done in Blandy. I have done something, oh God, I have done, I have done something real at last. So you can mute yourself too. See, mechanically, like now, he was, you know, so exhausted. He wrung out his sleeve, right? He stepped his sleeves up in upper curry and he pulled on his jacket. And he was too tired, even he thought of taking his bag later on. So he was not in all in that condition that he should take further is the things and all. So he went downstairs through the kitchen into the scullery. Scullery is a room of washing dishes and for similar work. Jo kitchen ke saath attached room hota hai for washing purpose and all. So uh, because it was a small uh, apartment <coughs> while moving and his lips were dry. They are telling the condition, mental condition of the doctor as well as physical condition he was too much tired he is uh, out of sleep for the so many hours and at the uh, slurry he took a long drink of water so he just had a glass of water picked up his hat and coat and when he went outside the house he met mr joe morgan and who was already nervous 
and he was looking at that expectantly on the face of the doctor and doctor said all right both all right he did not you know mention that how i save he did not take any advantage of telling that dekha how i saved and all and all that stuff he just said both are safe and he just went all right jo he said thickly both all right so it was quite light you know so panch baj chuke morning ke a uh, few miners were already in the street you know the people who go early in the uh, in the morning at work miners and farmers so sort of professional people so first night shift moving out and uh, andrew walked with them spent and slow footfalls echoing with the others under the morning sky so he started walking in the street he kept thinking blindly whatever has happened with him in the blendy right just place pe wo hai blendy naam ke place pe you know that how he had very bad evening that day and please read i have done something oh god i have done something real at last why did andrew say this i have done something real at last you know we people uh, we start uh, taking our personal lives only as the only it is a purpose of our life yes our personal lives matter we should have good relations you know, with our spouse fine we do, should have good relations with the other members of the family but this is not the only thing one should have some purpose in life also aapki professional life bhi kuch hai you know when you will be into this profession medical profession you know at any time 24 7 at any time you can get a call uh, you know at that time you cannot say i'm sleeping you know i will attend the person later on to aise fir successful bhi nahi hote ho aap fine the doctors who are always at the back and call of their patients the doctors were already or always ready to serve you know many doctors were not opening up their clinics during the covid they were scared but at the same time there were many who thought like no this is the time we should help someone and there were uh, some doctor who started missing money also this time every uh, you can say patient was declared as the covid patient and started making money so you can see the variations you can see the behaviors different kind of uh, you can say people are there in this or doctors basically are there yeah and what sort of doctor doctor you will be you will be like andrew mansion or you will be like someone else uh, if uh, had it be someone else who is so much obsessed with his personal life he must have said no to doc, uh, joe morgan at that time because already he was having bad li- time of his life so he was already muddled head and he was not feeling good at that time when he accepted the proposal of uh you can say taking further the process of birth but even then being a doctor he responded to his duty and not only responded to his duty but he performed his duty so sincerely without taking any advantage he gave his 200% in saving the you can say child so you can see that this story unveils the problems faced by doctors that how you know you should have textual knowledge is not enough ab aap tuitions pe jaate ho classes bhi laga rahe ho in so many things you are reading uh, sometimes you you read such you gather some information from net also you watch videos and but at the end of the day what is going to help you your presence of mind fine so you tell me i ask you one question after the, uh, we have finished this chapter that there is one question also fine this question is regarding that there are some you can say do you think that practical knowledge is more important or uh, textbook medicine knowledge of that textbook medicine is more important according to you tell me now a would be doctor so so uh, you know textual medicines you know you have dictionaries you have books in which the uh, medicines are mentioned and at which uh, uh, condition which medicine is to be given and all at the same time there is a world of a practicing physician which is more important yes mitali batai hai me jaldi se practical knowledge is more important or only the knowledge of textbook medicine according to you let's have a discussion over here um mm, practical knowledge is more important why why mitali why do you think so um because it encourages self learning self the students they get uh, familiar with the, the concept in a yes. uh, like more deeply they are able to uh, get the concept 
you know this is the psychologically proven that you uh, you uh, read you remember the things uh, half heartedly but when you do it practically learning by doing ka jo concept hai 99% you will not forget how to do it that's why we have practicals in sciences that's why we have practical periods you know so when you perform some experiment you will never ever forget in your life though it was a successful experiment or not but you will always you know remember the outcome and output what was there and also practical learning is more important than textbook medicine yes you should have the knowledge of textbook medicine also it doesn't mean that ki wo bilkul hum usko overlook karke apna hi we will start something no yes we should have knowledge of textbook medicine but before that uh, comes your practical knowledge you know that is more important so dr andrew mentioned said i have done something oh god i have done something real at last gursimran you tell me why did the doctor say so usne aisa kyu bola last mein aake doctor andrew has uttered these words after um, after he brought a रहोगे दिस इज म्यूचुअल फाइन बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल हैपी इन योर पर्सनल लाइफ that impact you should show on your professional life if you are very good doctor teacher engineer or in whatever profession you are if you are very smart and good performer do not intermix you know your personal life and you should have one goal in life so he is uh, you know why did he say young and you mention i it was too young he had no experience of handling such cases all alone but after firstly it was his choose ne bola firstly it was his first case which he handled individually without the help of others please note down this point so he otherwise he used to work he was a recently passed graduate medical graduate he worked under dr edward page as an assistant but this was the first time he handled this case individually without the help of any senior doctor secondly he had very bad evening with christine and he was feeling uh, you know very low and as if he has not done something right why christine left him such kind of feelings were hovering over his mind but when he saved the life of two people firstly he saved the life of the mother by injecting that by strengthening her heart and secondly he saved the baby with a method of resuscitation uh, that those processes actually you know gave him the feeling of accomplishment he fulfilled or you know that happened in a good way this incident will also help him to remove his sadness of his personal life when you achieve something in your life individually it gives you immense satisfaction so that's why he said this <coughs> <coughs> sorry that's why he said this okay our third question is do you know any of the incident let me show you the screen do questions humne discuss kar liye already see this one i have discussed uh and second one i have discussed with the, the way answer mitali has given the answer to us fine so uh, normally medicines prescribed in the textbooks are used by practicing physicians no doubt one should have knowledge of these things but uh, you can say more uh, practical uh, we will be more uh, you can say knowledge can be implied easily so there are some pro cases which need immediate attention of the doctor in that case he does not have time to refer to the textbooks only only his presence of mind and his practical aspect is going to help him clear suppose a person is being uh, a sting of the snake and emergency burnt face and accidental uh, cases and all at that time only practical knowledge will help save the life of the patient okay 
So there lies, yes, differences there, but one should have practical knowledge. Do you know uh, any incident when someone has been brought back to life from the brink of death through medical help, discuss medical procedures, such as organ transplant and organ regeneration. This you can do better than me, I guess. Anybody knows about this? What is organ regeneration and what is organ transplant? You do Ramanjit, do you know anything about it? I think so. <coughs> Ma'am, organ regeneration was lucky. किसी को drug करना था कि organs regenerate करें उसका defected yes. part remove करें liver में जैसे then, mostly then organ transplant मतलब कि किसी healthy person से uh, patient में transfer करना yes organ, when we change like the organ yes very good so uh, you do have the knowledge about this so yes you can say in this better first part में this is your personal answer that yes, I have seen this. It may have no nigger because you have to narrate any incident of your relative, of your friends, of if you can also cook up one incident that how someone's life was saved. Find surgical operation ke bare mein, anything you can tell. But the second part is that they are asking what is organ transplant? Uh, when when you know when some some pe people they willingly donate various organs of their bodies, you know, eyes and sometimes liver transplant is there and I uh, is replaced and such kind of uh, transplanting the defective organ of another patient by gi giving by the healthy person as Raban said. So this is our transplant. Fine, I, heart, kidney, even heart these days are trans being transplanted. You might have heard. Fine, so then we have, uh, you can say regeneration and uh, many techniques of organ regeneration are there <coughs> in which you know, uh, the new organ is regenerated by some methods, fine, by some, with the usage of some drugs and medicines and all. That is a lengthy process, though. There is a lengthy process. Okay, so we have done, these three questions are given to you, but please better note down some other questions also and do give me answer. Write down some other extra short questions. Who was Joe Morgan? Why had he been waiting for Dr. Andrew? Please note down. Who was Joe Morgan? Why had he been waiting for Dr. Andrew mentioned? Second is. Second question is. Don't fret mother, I will not run away. Don't fret mother. You will answer these questions. Firstly, note down. Don't fret mother. I will not run away. Why do you think Andrew say so? Why do you think Andrew say so? So, beta, we have, uh, I guess, two periods on Saturday. Okay. Saturday go repeated period. Hota hai. So, in the repeated period, we will discuss question answers. Okay. Well, so I need to end this meet.